First tragedy has struck the region's railways. A 25-year-old Bathurst man is dead and 71 train passengers badly shaken after the CountryLink XPT slammed into a track maintenance crew near Newbridge. Antonia Morrow begins our coverage. From the air, a tragic scene. The XPT stopped on the main western line. An excavator at the bottom of an embankment. Emergency crews working overtime. The westbound XPT collided with an excavator that had been working on the tracks. The collision occurred at 11.30 this morning, three kilometres north of Newbridge. The train smashed head on into this excavator. The 25 year old Bathurst machinery operator was working under contract for Railcorp. He was killed instantly. All his two colleagues could do is watch. It would be terrible to, to come to work and to lose one of your colleagues, especially somebody who, who is so close to them. 71 passengers and six crew members were on board the XPT. Only one passenger was treated for cuts to his head, but all of them were treated for shock. Safety of the people who are on the, on the train remained paramount for us, and that's why obviously it's cold out here and we, we managed to keep everybody on the train warm fed, watered. Our paramedics went up and down routinely and make sure everyone's just giving everyone a bit of a check out. The train was on its way to Dubbo from Bathurst, a routine daily service. There's still no indication what the workers were doing on the track when the collision occurred. At least two separate investigations are underway by police and work cover. Railcorp safety experts also spent the afternoon at the scene. Police say it's too early to say whether poor communication is to blame for the crash. At the moment, Bathurst detectives, along with work cover, are investigating the cause of the collision. Investigations are likely to continue over the next few days. Antonia Morrow, near Newbridge, Prime News. Well, the CountryLink passengers couldn't get off the train at the scene. They spent three and a half hours on board before the train headed back to Bathurst. Prime reporter Hayley Price joins us from the railway station there. Hayley. Hugh, the train pulled in just after four o'clock this afternoon and it's been a long day for these passengers to say the least. Emergency crews manned the station for most of the afternoon, waiting for the train to arrive. Then it was all hands on deck to ensure a smooth transition for the passengers and crew members. Mental health teams from New South Wales Health were here, speaking with everyone, one on one, offering support. Ambulance officers were also on hand, distributing trauma management brochures. We spoke with one man on board who said some passengers were visibly shaken. It's pretty shocked. Um, I spent a fair while with a lady uh, sitting opposite me who'd, uh, who'd already been involved in a train crash in the last 12 months and uh, it was just too much for her. CountryLink is doing everything it can to help support these passengers tonight. Some will be accommodated while others will travel on by coach. Hugh.